witches in the 1600s. People were religious during the 1600s and believed in gods and devils. The gods were good and the devils were bad. They did not know a lot about medicine and science, so they blamed the devil for everything that went wrong and for all the natural disaster. People thought that witches worked for the devil and told them to do bad things. The witches were blamed for causing bad weather, failure of crops, illness or death and even milk turning sour. King James I wanted to get rid of all the witches so he wrote a book called Demonology in, in 1597 about how to spot a witch. The way to see if they are a witch is if they have a birthmark, animal as a pet, lives alone, old, makes clay models, holds ceremonies, has problems and they are usually a woman. Matthew Hopkins was a witch hunter and he got 20 shillings for each witch he killed. He killed 300 witches. They did three tests to prove they were a witch. Firstly, they put a needle into their birthmark. If they bled, they were a witch, and if not, they weren't. Next, they kept them awake for ages, and they go crazy and admit that they are a witch. After that, they would tie their left thumb to their right toe, and the same with the other thumb and toe, and then they threw them into the river. To kill the witches, they burnt them or hung them. Matthew Hopkins was accused of being a witch, so they threw him into the river.